Let's get into it, man. I do want to feel positive about myself though one day. Like, all right, you did it. Man, that's a hard jacket, bro. You okay to walk this earth? You're not a bad person. You're not someone who's fucking it up. I'm just curious on the man that I'm gonna become. Nah, nah, nah. I'm, I'm not finna hold you, bro. Did this intro that just like the intro that just did, bro? That shit, that shit was hard, bro. Y'all not for saying tell me that wasn't a hard. That intro was hard as shit, bro. That was a hard ass intro. Mm. Salt Lake City, Utah. I think I grew out of liking music, like the love for it. Damn. But it's like it's therapy. It's the only way I can express myself. I'm I'm not gonna hold you. I'm, I'm trying to understand and listen to it, but he sound like he's gonna cry. I don't know. He he sound like he's gonna cry. I ain't trying to be like a dickhead and nothing about the shit. He sound like he's gonna cry. He sound like he actually laying all his shit out there. How he actually feel about everything and it's making him a little bit emotional. I fuck with it, cause I don't think we've really seen this side of him. This side is like a pass, not a passive, but a more emotion. Like he's full of emotion. He's more open. And I feel like as his fans, we've been wanting to see the side of him. But, you know, most people don't open up to people, yet alone millions and millions of his fans. And as I sit down behind the mic and just let things fall out of my mouth. I feel relieved. Man, I was flooded with millions of dollars from the time I was 16 all the way to this point in my life. And I woke up one morning and I was like, damn, they got me. Man, look at the shit I spoke about. Look at the shit I put in these people's ears. Man, I feel very wrong about a lot of things. How many lives I actually am responsible for when it comes to my music? How many kids and people have gotten in the car or put this shit in their ears and actually hurt someone? And now I'm sitting back like, damn, I can't do it all in one day, but I promise to clean whatever I can clean. But it's going to take time. Bro, I told you, you witnessed a fucking home invasion with one nigga, bro. And nigga kicked that motherfucking dough in. Bro, I, bro, my nigga. <sighs> you should have called the police, nigga. Bro, 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 bro. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. That shit just funny, bro. It's not funny, but it's funny, bro. You probably heard a loud ass boom. And hey, you heard them screaming. And what you doing? Watching. Watching the Lakers game and you watching my stream, bro. I love it, bro. I love the focus, the dedication, the drive. I love it, bro. I need more viewers like you, man. Fuck the home invasion. I'm watching my boy stream. I love that. I love that mentality. I love it. Is it, how the fuck they would have known that he called the police? You said you heard him say, "What the fuck, loud as shit." That's screaming, bro. In order for them to, or my fault, that that's more of a yelling. They yelled, "What the fuck?" Not screamed, "What the fuck?" That's more of a yell. Get it? That, that that's more of a yell, not a scream. My fault. But. It's that driving dedication, bro. Wait, wait, wait. He kicked in the door and left? <laughs> I'm sorry.
sorry, bro. That's just some random at. So, so he just kicked in the door. What? <laughs> that's that shit, bro. Nah, ain't no done, nigga. That shit weird and stupid, bro. You boy got a bike. You want to get rid of all of these cars? I can't drive any of them. I think I'd rather just fill my garage with antique cars. Antiques. So I do get a little freedom where I could double back and purchase some of these while I could have my fun. In. <laughs> Nigga smoking a cigar. That's my accountant, Miss Quintina. Miss Quintina. Making sure I handle the money I was blessed with properly. I can feel when he needs me to be that. And so that accounting hat, I take it off when he needs for me to be human. When he needs somebody to talk to. Whatever he needs me to be, that's what I am for him. Mm, like a second mom. Okay. She seemed nice. My mother was my everything. That was my protection, my comfort. This is my angel. <laughs> my protection. So as she died, I seen like just this very big difference inside everything. Like he got a big heart. Like he loved people. Like I feel like everybody got that one angel, one person that they feel like is their angel that looks over them and kind of steer them to do better. And life would be life changing, altered if that person was to ever leave them. I feel like everybody got that one person. They like some people got more than one, but. Some people have none. So I feel like if you got at least one, feel lucky. Do what you got to do to keep them happy and to keep you happy. Because it's, it's life. They're not going to be here forever. So cherish them every moment you got them, man. If he love you, he love you. You know what I mean? <laughs> but like, happy in the snow. <laughs> one of his good friends brought him over to me. And after one session, he was just like, man, he doesn't really mess with nobody, but he likes you. He was like, I don't know what that is. So it was just kind of natural. Like, just our chemistry and our bond just kept growing and kept growing. And I consider him a brother. I'm not a fan. Always cherish the homies, man. I don't think about it. None but love. I just have a lot of people that know me, I guess. I'm terrified of people. Very scared of people. Like all my kids. I'm terrified of people. And I'm very shy. But I never knew why once I walk on the stage, I could get it done and leave. But I'm terrified of people. People are cruel. Can't control us. We got social anxiety. Yeah, it seems like that's what he got too. So you never know. People can be cool though. I always, you know, knew what he was doing and what he had going on and his music and his buzz and and I uh, was impressed with what he achieved then from where we're from. And I mean they, they are some of the hardest working people in the music business. I think his legacy will be Himself. He's not going to be compared to anybody. He's setting the tone and standing out by his work ethic. I always wanted to be a rapper. This was always my dream. I never had a plan B. This is what I was set on becoming. That's what it was. But this is house, bro. Bro, this shit's right there on the side of a mountain, bro. That nigga house is far away from anybody else's bro i think the close help how the fuck they even get there hold on bro how that goddamn snow the closest house to that one is this one the ops can't reach bro bro i'm i'm not gonna hold you bro I feel like waking up and looking out your window and seeing this view, bro. I feel like that's how you know you made it, bro. You could just you could just wake up, see 
all that shit. I ain't got to worry about nothing. Nigga, I made it, bro. I ain't got I ain't got to worry about shit. I made it. Nothing. You can't be on top forever. You know. There's always to be another artist. Or there'll never be another young boy. I will not be provoked. I will not be broken. And I'm not going back to where I used to be. Accept it or not, I ain't going back. I only will get more groovy from here. <laughs> it only get more groovy. Say, I walk out this door. It's gonna be a whole lot of doing. Only Drake and Taylor Swift stream more. The Secret Life, House Stories, and Rebirth of Young Boy Never Broke Again. This this was the fourth. Oh shit, the boy he. Y'all think he dropping another album? Or or y'all think he y'all think he done? Oh shit, this is the end. I'm I'm tripping. I'm tripping. Yeah, y'all think he, he dropped another album? He probably will, he probably won't. How how's the nigga? 